Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals. So is the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, brother HR. So is the hour for revival. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. For everybody tuning in this morning. Thank you, Jesus. God is in this place, and you're in the right place for your miracle right now. Thank you, Jesus. Father, hide me behind the cross. I've been in me by all of you. Speak of these of the clay, and everybody leave here singing. I got just what I wanted from the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless God. Turn with me to 2 Corinthians 2, 14 through 17. 2 Corinthians 2, 14 through 17. And I'm going to entitle this message today, The Cologne from the Throne. The Cologne from the Throne. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I hope somebody tunes in. They knew I was going to be live at 8.35. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. If I could entitle this message anything, it would be the cologne from the throne. Amen. Turn with me now to 2 Corinthians 2. 14 through 17. Amen. Hey, Sister Donna, God bless you. Amen. Hey, Sister Lisa, God bless you. Amen. Jesus, I love you, Lord. Amen. Now, thanks be unto God, which is always, which always causes us to triumph. Savor of his knowledge by us in every place. The word savor in Greek and in Hebrew. Please share this video with everybody who you know needs a touch from God. Please share. Hit the share button in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless everybody. Hey, Brother Richard. Hey, Sister Rebecca. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless you, God. The word savor in its original translation means to either taste or smell. So in this case, for today, we're going to be dealing with smell. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So the taste or the smell of God. Literally, people have tasted manna. When, when ministers would preach, the, the Lord would come into a room and people could taste manna. They could taste honey. They could smell cinnamon. They could smell sweet spices and herbs. So there is a smell and a taste to the king. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Bless God. Amen. Sister Heather, God bless you. I'm glad you tuned in this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ, and maketh manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. Listen to that. He is giving you a sweet smell of victory, a sweet smell of triumph. Though you thought you were defeated, though you felt like giving up, God has given you a victory and a place of triumph. Thank you, Jesus. So even when it looks like all hope is gone and it feels like you ain't got nothing or nobody left, I'm telling you, God is going to give you a sweet savor of triumph today. He's going to give you a sweet taste and a sweet smell of victory. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Bless God. Amen. For we are unto God a sweet savor of Christ. In them that are saved and in them that perish. Thank you, Jesus. So if you have preached the word and people don't receive it, don't feel bad. He's still smelling the beauty of what you've done for him. Amen? Don't feel bad when certain people you've been praying for don't want to hear the gospel because you are a sweet savor unto God and to those who are perishing. Amen? Hey, Brother Sean, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For we are unto God a sweet savor of Christ, in them that are saved and in them that are perishing. Perish. To the one we are the savor 
of death unto death. And to the other, the savor of life unto life. Thank you, Jesus. They can smell the roses. They just don't want to pick them. Thank you, Jesus. They don't like us because sometimes we have thorns in our walk. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Paul had a thorn in his flesh, but God said in his word in the Song of Solomon, thank you, Jesus. My love, I think it's Psalm, the Song of Solomon, verse uh, 2, I believe it is, uh, chapter 2 or, or chapter 3, amen? It says, as my love, as the lily among the valley, so is my love among the daughters. Some of the effect of that, amen? I can't remember exactly what it says at this time, but it talks about the lily, thank you, Jesus, about the lily of the valley and his love being as the, um, wait a minute, thank you, Jesus, Song of Solomon. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. I was getting ready to go into the Song of Solomon today. I didn't know that. I forgot. Song of Solomon 2. Thank you, Jesus. See, I'm flesh and blood. Y'all, hey, Sister Malika. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Song of Solomon 2, verse 1. I am the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valleys. As the lily is among thorns, so is my love among the daughters. Hey, Brother William, God bless you. Amen. Hey, Brother Sean, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Go back real quick to that. Song of Solomon 2, 1 through 3. I am the rose of Sharon, the lily of the valley. There's the smell of God. The lily of the valleys. As the lily among thorns, so is my love among the daughters. Sometimes we got roses in our relationship. We got thorns in our relationship. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But I want you to know his love can remove the thorns from your very life. Come on, somebody. Say thank you, Jesus. His love can remove the very thorns from your life. Thank you, Jesus. Though Paul had a thorn in his flesh, it was, you know, he said, Lord, remove it. He asked three times for God to remove it. And God said, my grace is sufficient for thee. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Verse 16 now. Share this video, everybody, with those you know need a touch from God today. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 16. 2 Corinthians 2.16. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Brother Gabriel. Amen. To the one, we are the savor of death unto death, and the other, the savor of life unto life, the taste and the smell. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And who, and the savor of life unto life, and who is sufficient for these things? For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as of God in the sight of God, speak we in Christ. Hey, Sister Donna, God bless you. Amen. I'm so glad you got to tune in. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. I get excited when I get to see both Donnas tune in. It's awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless everybody, Jesus. Amen. For we are not as many, for we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as our sincerity. You know what? There's a lot of people sincere about their belief about God. They're just sincerely wrong. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But then there's those who are following in true serenity and in true sincerity of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Thank you, Jesus. For we are not as many. Amen. 
which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as of God, in the sight of God, speak we in Christ. Hey, Brother Robert, God bless you. We are in Christ. He said, I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, talking about himself. But he said, Father, I pray that you would make them one, even as you and I are one. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. One with each other and with God. He, he said he came to making himself one new man, dividing the wall, breaking down the wall of Jew and Gentile, dividing the church. He wanted to make one new man in himself. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Rich or poor, free or bond, male or female, because there is neither male nor female in God, we can both preach the gospel together as a body in Christ Jesus. Amen. Come on, somebody. Thank the Lord. Amen. Christ Jesus was the first women's liberator. Thank you, Jesus. What do I mean by that? The Bible said he told the women who believed he'd rise. That's the only reason they would have been at the tomb. He said, go tell my brethren that I have risen up. Thank you. Go tell them I have risen and I'm ascending to the Father in heaven. My God and your God. My Father and your Father. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, he said to Tracy, God bless you. Amen. So our life is a sweet savor under the Lord. A savor. And like I said earlier, the original translation means a taste or a smell. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. A taste or a smell. Amen. Sometimes when God's cooking something up for you, he'll give you just a smell of it. He won't let you taste it just yet. But oh, when he gets ready to do that blessing for your life, taste and see that the Lord is good. Come on, somebody. I feel my help coming on. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Sister Jewasha, God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Turn with me to Esther real quick. Oh, all the women love Esther. Thank you, Jesus. Esther 2, Esther 2, 12 through 14. Thank you, Jesus. Now, when every maid's turn was come to go to the king of, to king Ahas, Ahasuerus, after that she had been 12 months according to the manner of the purification accomplished, to wit six months with oil of myrrh, six months of sweet odors, and with other things for the purity, the pure, pure purifying of the woman. Amen. Hey, brother. Hey, Wesley, God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Wesley, God bless you. Amen. <laughs> then thus came every maiden unto the king, Whatsoever she desired was given her to go with her out of the house of the women under the king's house. A lot of people try to grab hold of something to impress the king, but he's already knocked out by the scent you're carrying. Come on, somebody. Bless the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Some people hate the smell of cologne. That's why those who are perishing unto death, we're still a sweet savor. They smell it, but they can't stand it. Thank you. Some cologne just smells horrible anyways. So if you're religious, you're going to stink in your cologne from the throne. Thank you, Jesus. It's not that God, mm, help me, Holy Ghost, thank you, Jesus. It's not that there's anything wrong with the smell of heaven coming out. It's something wrong with the heart that's hiding the stench of your sin. But the moment you let Jesus wash you and cleanse you, the sweat of your sin, oh, 
will be washed away and then you can smell like a sweet savor under the Lord. Come on, somebody. Shout, that's good preaching. Thank you, Jesus. You've got to be washed. Amen. Washed by the water of the word. Amen. Changed by the renewing of your mind. Come on, somebody. You've got to take a bath to smell better. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Take a bath in the blood of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, Lord. Then thus came every maiden, it said. Amen. But let's go to verse 14. Thank you, Jesus. In the evening she went on the morrow. She returned into the second house of the women to the custody of Shashagagaz. Best I can do. Amen. <laughs> some of these cats had some strange names in the Bible. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, Lord. The king's chambermaid which kept the concubines. She came in under the king no more, except the king delighted in her. And then she was called by name. Thank you, Jesus. Go to verse 15. I'm going somewhere with this in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 15. Now, when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abinal, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go unto the king, she required nothing but what he, Haggai, the king's chambermaid, chamberman, the keeper of the women, appointed. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Verse 16, so Esther was taken unto the king Assyrius into his house royal in the tenth month, which is the month to both in the seventh year of his reign. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 17, and the king loved Esther above all the women. And she obtained grace and favor in her sight more than all the virgins, so that Hallelujah. So that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of a vesti. Instead of just another one night stand, he made her the woman that she was supposed to be, the queen that God wanted her to be. Hey, Brother John, God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The queen that God had ordained to save his people. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now see, this is where those in the eastern star fall. They worship and idolize a woman. That's the spirit of witchcraft. That's the spirit of Jezebel. The eastern star is. They say concerning the daughters of Esther, fairest among thousands, altogether lovely. That's Jesus. He's fairest among 10,000. All together lovely. That's Jesus' role. That's his right. Don't you dare strip him of his righteousness name. What well, I said, don't steal his glory. Amen. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you do in the sight of the king of glory. Amen. Because God's writing it down. Thank you, Jesus. Those in the eastern star need to repent for the witchcraft of Jezebel and Baal. They need to repent for mammon. They need to repent for being involved with this garbage. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't know I was going to rebuke that devil today. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Eastern Star and the Masonic Order is nothing but a demonic witchcraft cult. And everybody who's been involved need to be delivered. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Because they're going not just with Jezebel, they're going with mammon. They're going with so many other things. And I and I tell you, I'm, I'm telling you by the Holy Ghost today, you need 
to repent if you've been involved with that cult. If there's somebody in your bloodline that's been involved with that cult, get delivered from the generational curse that they put on the bloodline through their witchcraft. Come on, somebody. God wants to deliver people today from the spirit of the Masonic order. People are needing to be delivered from that. Hey, Sister Violet, God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God is so inspired by your smell that you're carrying the fragrance of your faith. He's so, in, he's so knocked out by the fragrance of your faith that when it comes upon you, when he smells the fragrance of your faith, he's going to say, that one is mine, because they prepared their self, they've been in my presence, they've sought me, thank you Jesus, the Bible said he is a rewarder, he is and he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, so if you've been seeking the Lord, I want you to know today that God is going to bless you far above anything you'd ever ask or think, God shall deliver you today, he shall not leave you bound. He will not leave you sick. He will heal you. He'll deliver you. He'll set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost of heaven. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. Can somebody say, thank you, Jesus? Sister Malika already said, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. What am I saying today? Amen. Sterling, God bless you. Amen. Go to the Song of Solomon now. Again, the Song of Solomon. Thank you, Jesus. Song of Solomon 1, verse 3. Because of this... Wait, go to verse 1. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth... For thy love is better than wine. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something. There's no high like the most high. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Brother Ron, God bless you. Amen. There's no high like the most high. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to know God is in love with you this morning. Thank you, Jesus. The grace of God. Amen. Bible says if your heart condemns you, God is greater than your heart. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. Because of the savor of thy good ointments, thy name is a ointment poured forth. Therefore do the virgins love thee. Amen. She was favored among all the virgins. Esther was. So is those who pour out their life as a drink offering before the Lord. Those who give everything they have to God when they fast, when they pray, when they worship God, when they give everything over that they are to God, He begins to pour into them. you got to empty your vessel to fill your vessel. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Bless God. Amen. I hope somebody is getting blessed this morning. Thank you, Jesus. I have a feeling this won't be a long message today. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. I tell you what, I want you to know God loves you and He is in love with you. He said the angel, God bless you. Amen. God is in love with you. He's in love with me. He loves His body. He loves the body of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Turn with me now to Psalms 133 and 2. A 1 through 3. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Hey, Kendall, God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 
It's like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down the skirt of his garments. As they, the dew of Hermon, and as the dew, they descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there is the Lord commanded the blessing, even the life forevermore. Thank you, Jesus. God has anointed you with life forevermore in his name, and you become a sweet savor under God. The Bible says in Psalms, I believe it's the 37th book, if I'm not mistaken. Thank you, Jesus. It says, let the meditation of my heart, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my God, my God and my Redeemer. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Bless God, hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, amen. Mm -mm -mm. I hope somebody getting blessed this morning. Thank you, Jesus, amen. Bless God. Numbers 29 and 2. And you shall offer burnt offerings. For a sweet savor unto the Lord. Young bull out the ram and seven lambs of the first year without blemish. And their meat offering shall be a flour mingled with oil, three tenth deal with bull out and two tenth deal for a ram. So it's total. Hey, Brother Stephen, God, Steve, God bless you. Amen. And one tenth deal for one lamb throughout the seven lambs. And one kid of the, of the goats for a sin offering to make an atonement for you. Beside the burnt offering of the month and his meat offering and meat offering. Amen. Burn offering and meat offering and their drink offering. I just told you, pour out your life as a drink offering before the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's the dew. The dew is the heavy presence of the Holy Spirit. Amen, Brother Ron. You're right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What am I saying? I told you that... In the beginning of this, the word savor means two things. It's a dual blessing. Thank you, Jesus. It means one, the smell to smell, and two, to taste. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, you're either smelling like a sweet smell before God, or you're going to be able to be tasted as a sweet taste of God. Amen. I'm going to put this phone to on charger, amen. I can preach where I go, amen. Hey, Brother Ronald, God bless you. Hey, Brother ja uh, Chaplain, God bless you, amen. I ain't going to worry about it. I was trying to put the thing on charges so I could preach right on. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Next time I have it on charger when I get on. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. When you see my videos, you got to understand I'm not perfect. I'm going to mess up. I'm going to do things with the camera, mess it up sometimes. So mess it up sometimes. I mean, you just got to got to deal with me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You just got to tolerate me. Love me on through. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Brother Chaplain. God bless you. Amen. You know, God is a, viewing you as a sweet savor unto God. You're a sweet smell unto the Lord. Come on, somebody. Thank him that you're oh, Ramakasha. Thank him that you are a child of the king, that you smell like heaven to everybody around you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 
Quit trying to cover up the stench of sin, shower in the Spirit, and get God's cologne on the throne put upon yourself that you might smell good to God and to those around you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. The Lord told me that certain people would smell the smells of heaven and taste the taste of heaven, I believe. Amen. The Lord told me that they would smell the smells of heaven and taste the taste of heaven. Like the, the manna, you're going to be able to taste manna in your mouth. You're going to be able to taste sweet bread in your mouth. Thank you. Even the bread, even the manna was sweet that came from heaven. Come on, somebody. There ain't nothing bitter from the Father. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. No good thing will he withhold from those who love him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen, Brother Ron. Hang out with God till you smell like him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm glad you're enjoying this message, brother. God bless you. Amen. Go to Exodus 30 and 17. No, no, go to Exodus 30, 22 through 25. Thank you, Jesus. Out of this, I promise I'm closing. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Take thou also unto the principal spices. Take unto thee principal spices. Wait, wait, wait. Moreover, the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Take thou also unto the principal spices of pure myrrh, five hundred shekels, and of sweet cinnamon, half so much, even two hundred and fifty shekels, Oh, I'm smelling the presence of God as I'm talking about it. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And 50 shekels of sweet calamus. 250 shekels. That's pieces. Amen. And of cassia, 500 shekels. After the shekels of the sanctuary and of oil, make it an oil of holy ointment and ointment compound after the art of the apothecary. It shall be a holy oil. Amen. Thank you, Jay. Hey, Brother Randy, God bless you. Amen. Hey, Brother Jeffrey, God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And thou shalt anoint the tabernacle of the congregation therewith and the ark of the testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, the ark of the testimony. We overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. We have been anointed with a, a holy oil from heaven. Well, Hebrews 1 and 9, Thy God, even thy God, will anoint thee with the oil of gladness even above thy brethren, for you have hated sin and love righteousness. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Hebrews 1 and 9, He is going to pour out an oil that is a holy ointment that carries such a tangible smell that no devil in hell can stand against you that when he begins to smell that oil. He's like, oh, I can't do this. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There's power in the blood of Jesus. There's power in the name of Christ Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for the, the oil, the aroma, the cologne from the throne. Thank you, Jesus, for a heavenly odor about us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I got so many colognes, it drives my family crazy. I wear cologne all the time. There are kinds of cologne. I love cologne. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Brother Edwin, God bless you. Hey, Francisco, God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But one of my favorite oils, actually there's three. I anoint myself with oil. You know, my favorite oil is this one. Thank you, Jesus. This oil, they've been doing YouTube videos of it like crazy now. This oil is an oil sister Pamela gave me. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Um, Dr. Kivai, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, you can ask your question. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. This oil 
Sister Pam gave me. Amen. Pam, Pamela Stallworth. God bless you, sister. I love this oil. I, I'm using it so much, and then this is another bottle that I'm actually getting ready to open. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But the oil that Sister Pam gave me is the oil that's been coming out of that Bible. I think it's in the Atlanta area. It's the oil that just keeps coming out of that Bible from heaven. And there's an aroma. Oh, Remember, for those of y'all who are older than I am, no disrespect, thank you, Jesus, but there is a video of Brother A.A. A. Allen with supernatural oil appearing on his hands, thank you, Jesus, and they said that there was a sweet aroma coming out of that oil. What I'm saying is God still anoints today with that oil. Thank you, I'm praying that people begin to smell different kinds of smells from heaven in Jesus' name. Hey, Brother Dan. Hey, Galia. God bless you. Thank you, G. I pray people begin to smell different smells from heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. But that oil that comes out of the Bible in Atlanta, God has used that oil for His glory. Because they give God the glory for it. Thank you, Jesus. And if y'all don't have a church to go to, I want to say that. Thank you, Brother Francisco. If you don't have a church to go to, welcome to church. This could be your home church as you're watching these videos. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Lord. This was given to me in New York by a Jewish rabbi who is a, he's a, a, a Messianic rabbi. Thank you, Jesus. This oil has the sweet fragrances of Exodus mixed in with it. Thank you, Jesus. So there's two oils that I love to, to, to um, have. And this is the Song of Solomon oil that was given to me by an amazing woman of God when the Lord had me pray for her. She gave me a, a, a vial of oil because God healed her. She said, I want to bless you. I said, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen, Brother Ron. I, I love having the spirit of revival. Thank you, Jesus. It's down in my family. My family walked in revival anointing. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm glad to be a part of it. It's in my blood. Thank you, Jesus. I, I just can't help myself. I got to have revival. Thank you, Jesus. I love revival. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. But thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hebrews 1 and 9. Amen. Remember what God told Brother Samuel. He said, don't weep anymore. Rise up. Go and fill your heart with oil. Don't stay depressed. Don't worry about what it's looking like. Just fill your horn with oil. That's what you're doing today. You're filling your horn with oil. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory. Hallelujah. I didn't think I was going to go here, but... Go with me to Matthew real quick. Matthew 25, 1 through 10, and then I close. Amen. I thought God was going to let me, I thought the Lord was going to let me uh, go ahead and uh, end the message, but the Lord just told me, you're not done yet. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Matthew 25. I'm not done yet because he's not done yet. Amen. Hey, Chris, God bless you. Bless you, Jesus. Amen. Matthew 25, 1 through 10. Amen. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Wait a minute. That represents the true church and the false church. Thank you, Jesus. 
bless God. Listen to me now. One had the oil of the Holy Spirit. The other had a form that carried the oil. But they didn't have it. They had a form of godliness, but denied the power. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said that God filled up the barrels of oil for a widow woman in the Old Testament. Why didn't he just keep it filled? Because he, he, he kept letting it go down, and then he'd fill it up. Then he'd go down, and then he'd fill it up. Thank you, Jesus. She was the first assembly line miracle. Oh, glory, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. She was the first assembly line miracle. <laughs> because it would go down, and then God would fill it up. It'd go down, then God would fill it up. Absolutely, Francisco. Amen. Why did God not keep the oil filled all the time? Because it would have wasted. But it said the barrel of oil, the cruiser of oil, and the meat, the uh, the the meal did not spoil. Why? Because God kept refreshing the oil. Thank you, Jesus. Without Fresh oil, you will spoil in your life. Thank you, Jesus. You'll become stagnant. You'll become religious. You'll become just an old, dry up, dried up lamp with no fire to carry to the world. Thank you, Jesus. His word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. What does that mean? There's oil in his word. Oh, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I really hope people write to me and let me know that they're smelling the uh, fragrances of heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Begin to share this video with those you need, no need a miracle. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all the virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us some, give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. They were liars. They never had no oil in their lamp. They were trying to live off somebody else's anointing. Go to the throne and get your own. Thank you, Jesus. Go get your own oil, that, that cologne from heaven. Go get your go to the throne, get your own cologne from the throne. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That's a mouthful, but that's a powerful word. Thank you, Jesus. They had a form of godliness, but they denied the oil. They denied the power of God. Because the oil represents the Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, dipper in the kerosene of your spirit. Set her on fire, Lord. Fire, 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 in Jesus' name, amen. While the bridegroom, but they were, the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Behold the bridegroom, and at midnight, verse 6, Thank you, Jesus. And at midnight there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all the virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. 
Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Fill Sister Malika with the Holy Ghost and fire, fire, fire. In Jesus' name, Jesus, Jesus, fire, fire, fire. Let us speak with new tongues. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Remember, friends, your prayers are continually going up before the Lord. Amen? As a sweet savor under His nostrils. Now, if you're religious and you're not living for God and you're putting on a show, your savor is a is a stench in the nostril of God. But if you're truly living for God, the best you know how to live, and you're truly pressing in for the presence of God, then let me tell you, you are a sweet saber in the nostrils of the living God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Now the Bible says, Jesus said in the last days, they'll say, my master delays his coming. They're going to see the, the signs starting to come to pass. They're going to say, I'm waking up. I'm getting ready to meet the Lord. Oh, my Lord, Jesus is coming. Then the Bible said, they're going to say, my master delays his coming. Then they're going to drift back into the world. They're going to go back to sleep. Satan is slowly rocking the church to sleep and singing a lullaby of a false love over the over the people that are gullible in their in, in their gluttony. Gullible in their gluttony, in their taste and desire for life more than the things of God. They desire the flesh, they desire the, the food of the flesh instead of the things of God. What I mean by the fruit of the flesh, I mean the drinking, they desire the pornography, they desire the smoking, they desire the things of the world instead of the things of God. But they see he's getting ready to come, so they say, oh, I'm awake, I'm awake, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, he ain't coming. I guess I better go back to sleep. They hit the snooze alarm on the Holy Ghost. They hear the clarion call. Beep, 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 beep. They hear the call. Get up, get up, get up. Or is a trumpet. Brrr, brrr. They hear the trumpet call. They hear the sound of their salvation calling them to wake up in these last days. The bridegroom comes. Amen. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go ye out to meet him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody is being healed of tendonitis right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody has calcellated disc. Your calcium and your disc are being healed. The calcium is going back. God is removing the, the the high levels of calcium in your disc and the disc are being healed in Jesus' name. You won't have that issue with the calculated disc anymore in the back. God's healing your back and the pain is gone in Jesus' name. I hear the Lord tell me to tell you that. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Calcified disc are being healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to me. Hey, Sister Linda, God bless you. Amen. And the foolish said unto them, unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. They were liars. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there we lest there be not enough 
for us and you and go rather now to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to me, open to us. Bless your Lord. Watch therefore, for ye know not, neither the day nor the hour when the Son of Man cometh. Thank you, Jesus. What do I mean by that? What does it mean by that? What did Jesus mean? Bless your Lord. He means this. That in the day, no, the hour, you don't know. There's different time frames all over the world, but you better be ready to meet him. Because in an instant, all over the world, no matter what day or time or hour it is, he's going to split the sky. He's going to redeem the righteous. He's going to take us home to heaven. Come on, somebody. If you're getting excited, that's awesome. Thank you, Jesus. There's only one way you can get ready, though, to meet the Lord in the air. For those who believe in pre-tribulation, I'm one of you. For those who believe in mid-tribulation or post-tribulation, I'm still praying for you. No, I'm kidding. As long as we can agree to walk in love, we can agree. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But I'm not going to get into no big debate about the rapture. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 50% fail to be ready for his return. Sad be ready. Amen. You're right, Brother Ron. They are failing to get ready for his return. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Friends, look at the signs of the times. God even said in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 9 that he hath not appointed us under wrath. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He's not appointed us under that day. Jesus said, pray that you be found worthy to escape that day coming. So here's how you escape. You turn your life fully over to Jesus Christ. You pray this prayer with me right now. Father, in Jesus' name, I repent of my sins. I put my life in your hands. I believe you died on the cross that God the Father raised you from the dead and I am saved in Jesus' name. I accept you fully into my life and I accept your finished work as done, paid in full for my sins. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I am forgiven. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if you're sick in your body, I curse every devil of sickness. I command to turn you loose. Let you go free. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command creating miracles right now. I bind every spirit of infirmity right now. I cast it up and out. Off of their bodies in Jesus' name. Let the glory fall upon them, Lord. I just curse every spirit of infirmity in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, do creative miracles in their body, in their spirit. In their heart. Do a work, Lord, in Jesus' name. I rebuke every spirit of bondage in the mind. Every spirit of witchcraft coming against the mind, the spirit of the soul and the body. I take authority over it in Jesus' name by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. I curse every devil binding the body of Christ in Jesus' name. I command to loose you and let you go free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I take authority over it, and I call you healed and delivered, saved and set free in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory. Hallelujah. He the sun sets free is free indeed. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, virtue flow and displace the darkness. Thank you, Jesus. Let it expel the darkness. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I hope everybody got blessed today. Thank you, Jesus. 
Jesus is the baptizer and the Holy Ghost and in fire, and out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. Have you never been baptized in the Holy Ghost? Jesus wants to do it now. If you've never been refreshed, if you want to be refreshed, Sister Donna got refreshed in the Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues again. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He wants to do it now for you. In Jesus' name, fire, fire, fire. Bless everybody, Lord. Fire, fire, fire. Holy Ghost, thank you, Jesus. Jesus, washing the water of the word. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals. It's always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord. Brother HR, thank you, Jesus. Write to me. Let me know what God's done for you. Thank you, Jesus. KidHenry617gmail.com. KidHenry617gmail.com. KidHenry, K-I-D-D-H-N-O-Y, 617gmail.com. Let me know what God has done for you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless God. Amen. I want to also give y'all an option. For those who desire to give, there is PayPal now. I do have PayPal. I have the link at the top of this video or the bottom on YouTube. You can click it and you can um, give if you feel led to because your love gifts keep helping me go around the world on the phone, but they also keep paying for that, for the phone to be used. Also, It'll, it will help me go to other places and preach the gospel. Thank you, Jesus. I'm actually going today to a place in Atlanta. After this message, I'm going to charge my phone up, get ready to go in a little bit. But it's because of your support, friends, that I'm able to do that. God bless you for those who do give. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God bless all of you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals. It's always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother Ray Char, and it's always the hour for revival. I'll see you in the next meeting, or I'll see you in the air in heaven. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.